I should be working out. Be quiet now. Oh, people. Wait, what? Hey, that's that's um that's my good friend Bastion over there. What's up, my good friend Bastion? Meanwhile, where's the underground around here? Uh, there's, um... Hmm. A little mass grave over there. Just a little bit. There's the underground. Okay. It's not really cover, we've learned that. As silent as a spirit in the woods. Is this one of those phone zombie apocalypse games? No, because if I was playing that, I'd be playing the one of all the furries in it. Yes? There's this there's this phone game I saw that looks like it's like literally trying to target my aesthetic. One day I'm gonna have to play it. like tactical furries. Oh, what do I want to do here? I got the AK, right? I got the AK, yeah. Is that Bloodline game? No, it's called like... I'll, sh I'll literally show it to you. You'll see what I mean. What's it called? Bad... F bad to Bad? Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's called Bad to Bad. Um, and if you take a look here... Um, they've got me. They, they've got my fucking aesthetic right here. Just like when JA3 was like, your, your animal is wolf. Oh, they fucking got me. They know they fucking got me with this game. But I ain't played it yet because it's a phone game. But one day, one day I'm going to have to play this game, man. It's like a whole collection of games, apparently. There's like a little bird fucking going on here. Like, I ain't played it yet, but it looks fucking crazy. There's some crazy shit going on here. Does this game have the personality test at the start too? I have no idea, we've never done it. Look at this shit! Insane! <laughs> My god! If I ever get a tattoo, it'll be this exact picture. <laughs> this looks great! Oh my god, there's like, Herodes, Epic M4, yes. This is my raid, Shadow Legends. I need to fucking play this game. I seriously do. This is seriously my Rage Shadow Legends. If there's monetization in that game, I'm gonna be broke. Fishing? Fishing? What? Where? I see this. Where's, where's the fishing? Holy shit, no. Yeah, there is, wow. Wow, that tactical furry operator is fishing. They got my ass, man. Fuck. How did they get my ass so good? I'm gonna have to play this game at some point. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta throw some trash in my bin. Oh no, I dropped it. It's so messy. <laughs> Anyway, how, what do you all think of this game so far, um, compared to we could be playing Rare Sigma with Philip's new Drop Valkyrie mod? I... I am giving this game some leeway because I feel like the mechanics are cool and I'm waiting for it to get better. I don't think it's like aggressively bad or anything, but it is... The, the janky presentation I think hurts it a lot so far. Um, like the lack of like oomph or excitement to really anything going on is a real downer. But the actual like mechanical division... Uh, mechanical decisions and actions seem kind of interesting. I get the impression this game will have a lot of, as with any newly launched game, a lot of balance issues, but of course it will. It's a single player game, whatever. But, um... Kino says, I know I'd rather be watching Risk Sigma, but I know this game has a lot of promise. Yeah, like, it's... I, I feel like I want to get, like, that Tarkov greed of this game. Like, I want to get to the point where everyone's got, like, body armor, 
night vision and like suppress guns. But um, that's that's the the gear fiend in me. Mods will fix it all. Maybe like if people are still, if people are excited about this game, I could see mods making this game a shit ton better. Like Skyrim levels are better. And maybe this game does get that treatment because JA is like that kind of cult beloved community. Maybe, I don't know. I mean, that's what I've always heard about it. Barley says, it's okay, but I'm not really hooked. I wish the best for it. Yeah, like, I'm not hooked on it either so far. Like, it's, it's not got the best flow to it. The presentation isn't great. We've been spoiled by games like... And that's the funny thing, because this game, these devs were worried about being an XCOM clone, but really... Take more lessons from XCOM because, God, those fucking games like XCOM, where there's never a dull moment in the combat. Like, everything is so polished with the shooting. It feels so good, sounds so good. And I feel like, uh, I feel like mods, if people like lovingly mod this game, that will definitely need to be one of the things they do is like up it. Like, this game feels like it came out in 2007, is the problem, I think. And I'm not just talking about like the quality of the graphics, like, that's fine. I mean, like, just the presentation overall, the animation, eh, the sound is god-awful. Um, and just the overall, like, polish, like, not just the graphics, but, like, you know, the speed of the bullets, the, the quality of the sounds, all that, it all adds up. And it does feel, like, very flat. I, I guarantee, if this game had, like, that XCOM level of fucking wow factor to the, the art direction, everything we've done so far would feel so much cooler. Absolutely. Like, I would have been coming when uh, Kalina had like silenced headshotted that dude in the second engagement right I'd be like oh but instead it's all like it's like and you're like all right and then the guy does his like five second death animation you know what I mean be quiet now it's it's a very janky game which I expected but it's been better than I expected so far because I expected it to be janky in presentation um I was also expecting it to be janky in the balance and well not the balance but like the mechanics the mechanics don't seem too bad so far, though, I think. This is a shame they will not be able to watch me move. The mechanics have promise. I think it's all about how well the AI can better. deal with them, though. Because a lot of the mechanics so far seem very exploitable, and are very exploitable so far, in the sense of, like, silenced weapons and stuff. But we don't know uh, what counters the enemy gets to do. You just silence weapons sweeping the map later, you know? Like, maybe that gets harder later to do. Maybe it doesn't. We don't know. And that, that's what I mean by, like, like, it could be very janky in its balance, you know what I mean? No, 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 I want you to... These people are gonna fucking fire, so I don't know what your shot on them is gonna be. My friends from the beach. I was just talking about you, wasn't I? C'est vrai. And now you've come to meet my big family, eh? Yes, big family, many mouths. Okay. So true. Yeah, so true. But I'm sure our friends so true, are going to help pay for our hospitality. After all, they saw little Miss Emma and her rich friend. I'm thinking they gave you money, no? You don't no. want to be selfish and let my poor family starve. Hospitality does not fill stomachs. Your money. Now. Bro, even though you're dressed like Snake from Metal Gear Solid 3, I will not pay you. We don't have much. What hospitality? Nah. That's right. I showed you hospitality by letting you visit my shack. Now, you have to pay for accommodation, plus interest. Wait, what shack? Ah, uh, it's actually just a lean-to. Not like I stash things there or something. Huh? Stash? Hey, you've been holding out on us. No, I would never. Yeah, fight each other. Uh, Kingdom says, seeing you play with Sigma in the discussion about Xenolots 2, that one XN mod, then say you're going to try JA3. I think you should try another of those strategy games. It was between me playing Xenolots 1 again and buying JA3. I then saw that JA3 was 45 bucks and decided to play Xenolots again. Yeah. Anyway, people are saying they want to see some more of Sigma. We might do like a little bit more of this and then like do a, like a, a second half of the day, like a, an hour or two of Rose Sigma and do some orcs. 
Oh, yo, he's been holding out on you, bro. I thought so. I knew he's been stealing from us. Get him, boys. Man. Gained XP, nice. Negotiator perk activated. Trick Bastion's family and turn them against him. Wait, I can't loot you now. Come back. Oh, level up? Mercs will gain a new perk each time they level up. High stats such as health. X Division sounded cool too. You'll probably do X Division on one of these days too. High stats such as health or strength will determine which perks are available to each character. I should play End State again too for tactical turn based gameplay. Better perks will become available as you invest in perks associated with a particular stat. Okay. Holy shit, there's a lot of them. So I can only pick from the bronze ones. Full body contact. Gain 15 grit on a successful melee attack. Cool. Everything by the numbers. Prone. When a character is prone. Solution to prone is free. Additional 20% damage reduction from explosives when prone. Cool. Max HP increased. Cool. So if we're going to against the same target, get an even higher accuracy bonus. Cool. Ooh. Gain free move after throwing grenades and making shotgun attacks. I like that. I do like that. I need a better thrower, though. You are not a thrower, my man. So it's going melee attacks against different targets to steal extra damage. Nah. I think it's either turtle time or recoil management. And honestly, it's probably recoil management. Of how much damage you need to do to get through these chunky enemies. Crit. This unlocks. Shock Assault. Gain 30% crit with melee and point blank. Retain half of your free move range when wearing comes in armor. Oh, interesting. You lose some of that when you get heavier armor. That makes sense. That's a kind of a cool way to do it. Does not trigger interrupt attacks. While making melee. Interesting. Rage. Deal 10% damage per wound. What, like 10% extra? Make an interrupt attack with firearms and taking significant damage during the enemy turn. Interesting. Doesn't trigger while taking cover. Okay. Yeah, this is still what I want, I think. Level 2. That's what you, what you, what you get on level 2. Let's move. Heading right. out. Let's just walk around and like try to steal stuff now, I guess. Come on. Some stuff over there. We're moving? We're moving. I feel like this game could get really good with mods. That's not a huge compliment to the game itself, but it's like what someone said. The bones of this game feel like go. good. But it would be a pretty full reno to make this like really oh, okay. polished. You know what I mean? Kalina, oh my god. They're on our way. Let's go. Like I'm not I, I don't believe in like a game is good just because it has good potential, right? Like that's not the developer's job. The developer's job is to make the game good, not just let the users make it good for them. I'm not saying that the game is that bad on its own either so far, right? Like so that's fine. Like I, I think it I'm I'm the opposite. I think I think Bethesda are fucking scummy. I think it sucks when users have to finish the game for you. Um and not talking about this game, but that's why I don't like Bethesda. I think it's even worse when the devs basically depend on the users to finish their product for them. Moving. Seems like the guineas are more lethal. I wouldn't say that. Necessarily so much, both you and the enemies I'd agree a little bit with, but we've only been in one fight, yeah, and when we got out of cover, we were pretty fucked pretty quick. I think it's just more more I'm worried about the stealth gameplay. I'm more worried the stealth gameplay is gonna be really exploitative, but we'll see. I I do not like the sponginess though. I agree. Let's go. Just purely for feel, I don't like how spongy things feel on this difficulty. Sure. Goffer says, I'm the opposite here. Enemies dying in the first turn is really, really shitty. Biggest issue of too. I agree with not alpha strike enemies. Trying to be quiet. It is a shame they will not be able to watch but you know, there's ways to go in between. Longwood does a good job of it. 
Which definitely is this. It's whatever the hardest is. Something to help us on our quest, perhaps? I will try to remain hidden. In a hypothetical party, in which positions would you put J3, Dark Descent, and Xeno 2? Yes. Well, we haven't played enough of this game to really make such calls, but we haven't played enough of any of them. I mean, Xeno 2 just looks like Xeno 1, so that's kind of boring. Because I didn't like Xeno 1. Um, this is like, got potential, but it's quite janky. And then... Uh, Aliens Dark Descent is like a 10 out of 10 on the first mission, it becomes like a 6. So, Aliens definitely at the top of things, if that's what you're asking. If you're saying you want me to compare things... Then, uh, yeah. Aliens is obviously the best so far. I don't really get how suppression works so far, either. Ready. I need a full auto to suppress, I guess. I shall not make a noise. Making this shot would be like something out of a fairy tale. You can't see, blind fire. Like, I think it's kind of silly that... I think especially because the sponginess encourages you to constantly go for cold shots on their heads and stuff. Which just kind of feels funny because it's like, oh, I'm always going for the dick shot. Because otherwise I can't kill them. I think it's the problem here of the feeling is like, you can get one shots, but it requires you going for the locationals. It's always going to be the problem when you do this kind of shit, when you allow, like, um... So you're taking a sip. It's always going to be the problem when you have this kind of system where you allow locational shots all the time. But again, we'll see how the game goes as we go. Maybe you can just turn the difficulty down. I mean, I assume there's other things other than the HP. And that's what's always annoying about these games where they do more HP as a difficulty option. Is, to this extent, is like... Uh, you don't know what else you're missing out on if you go down the difficulty level. Though maybe they're like this on all difficulties, who knows? Grazing hits. This attack may only graze the opponent and won't deal full damage or plenty of status effects. Why? Because they're too far away? I will try to Why would that happen? Somebody says, I like how Chaos Gate did locational shots where they were ridiculously strong but they had the critter using ability for it. Yeah, I think that's a good system. I agree. Because if you let the player just um, location all the time, you just get this. Where it goes like, alright, we'll always go over the head, I guess. Even when that's not necessarily a good idea. What? What's your shot from here? This shot may compromise my position. Not very good. Aiming. Like, does that expose you? No. Like, what is going on here? Oh, we're on single, that's what. So I, if I hit you with all three shots, I, you have a lot of armor, I guess, because I'm not doing shit to you. Yeah. Uh, I was never good at hide and seek. Maybe we should go up to the roof. Understood. How's it definitely really here compared to vanilla like long air scout? It's too early to tell. But um if you're basing off the tiny bit of this game we've played so far, it's not challenging. But you can't say that because we've only played so little of it. It would be ridiculous to say this game's too easy or too hard. Uh overall, we can't tell that yet. But so far, not not a lot. There's not a lot going on. Can I get up here? I shall not make a noise. No, you actually can't get up here, I see now. However, we can shoot from up here, so that's kind of okay. So even if I shoot you in the head here... Is it because it's grazing? Why is it grazing then? Yes? Fog? Ah... I think we just start shooting here. I'm, it's just taken a while, I'm, I'm just getting bored. Which is not a good sign for turn-based games when it's like, the gameplay gets too much of a chore and I just start making so couple decisions. We talked about this before. And we reinforcements in 30 seconds, that's interesting. 
I like that. That's cool. This game's always going to take a long time to play with the chance to hit mod on too, because it's not designed for it. So unlike XCOM, you can't just preview your chances to hit quickly. you got to like actually go into this view every time. Which is a shame. Uh, I mean, I guess we just start plugging them, right? We're trying. Not much else to do here. In the dick. Oh, you're not hidden anymore. Fug. Ready. Kalina here. I'm not sure how to tell when a suppressed shot is gonna reveal you or not. Godfrey says, I mean, how would they preview chance to hit when there's like 10 different values per enemy? Uh, duh, I don't know, Shaggy. Maybe just use the fucking torso? What? As a default? Really quiet. I don't know, Jim. How the fuck would anyone ever do that? Ready. Sorry, Godfrey, but come on. Brain on. Be quiet now, I will fall on them like a tree in the forest! Uh, groin. No, I can't. Okay, groin does less here because you have an armored cock but not a torso. Okay. I can auto fire. And that might kill you. Just use a lot of ammo. But it does kill you. They're adapting to my tactics. <laughs> yeah, it's Metal Gear Solid. They are, they are. Got it. I'll shoot at anyone I see. I mean, bad guys, of course. Just the bad guys. Dudes will literally make their whole personality killing civilians. <laughs> I kind of like the music. It's got a really good vibe for the era it's going for. Ow. That person is accurate. Fucking bodied me. They got suppressed too, I might be in a lot of danger. It's um... I think part of it is because they don't do random damage rolls right either. Like with XCOM, you can have it be where your Overwatch pro probably won't kill an enemy like three times out of four, but just the fact that it can- oh, that's a flank over there. But just the fact that it can makes you feel better. No, we're fucked. I'm gonna wipe, I reckon. Luckily they didn't die this time. Okay, so it's random. And they can get thirsted. Banjin effects depends on medical skill and we'll keep the ally occupied for a while. Don't rely on the downside to protect you from death. Mercs can die without coming down and take massive damage. That's good. Let's kill it quickly. Yeah, it's just gonna be just open fire them while they're all there. Death chance low. Kalina can't shoot twice in here, I don't think. And we're still grazing, apparently. It's something they don't seem to be having trouble with. So even though I go for a head, I can't kill you. Good chance of me um not missing. So if you Overwatch, you get to shoot twice somehow. Even though you only have enough AP to shoot once, that's weird. I should be working out. Can we pick you up? It doesn't look like a MD present. Well, especially with that being a flank, I think we're fucked. Michael here. Also, does that mean I should just overwatch? Because you get two shots that way? Like, I could get through their chunky fucking health. Maybe that'll let, let me get through their health. Man, maybe I can't stay there in bandage. Those fuckers are pushing me. Though I can't get away from them either. Oh, I can get to here? No, can't reach there. You're in cover, but you're getting flanked from both sides. This will be pie. I'm pretty sure I'm just dead here. This okay? <laughs> Ooh, 
the, 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 you just gotta, you just gotta go for something. Probably should've just covered, honestly. Missed. Yeah, everyone's gonna die. Unfortunately, I like the mechanics. I like how, you know, I'm like instantly suppressed there. So I can't really get away. I wonder what happens if like the MC dies. I guess you just lose them because you can opt to not use them anyway. Oh, is that not the end of my turn? That was an that was an interruption. May the angels guide you to a rest. Oh, Alpha bled out on the same turn. Holy shit. I didn't realize if the UI was warning me of that. Jesus, this isn't that difficult. Immediately wipes the next encounter. I was like I was saying, like, you just get bored at a certain point and start playing some optimally. This is what I did here. I shouldn't have fought them like this. I will die. Be dead. But I also see how to play now is you overwatch, you don't shoot. Yes? By the way. Because for some reason you can shoot twice with these guns. When you overwatch specifically. Steroid is stuck and can't run. Mm, there's like... Yes? A bunch of you left. Yeah, it's really weird that you can like overwatch uh, more than you can shoot. I don't really get that. He can punch, he can? Yeah, man, you're fucked, hey. I've got both my hands full. I mean, you can't shoot. You can't do nothing, I don't think. Must be on arms, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can't do your big move, you haven't got enough AP. But you can punch! Melee doesn't fuck around. Until it does. <laughs> Hello? Steroid? <laughs> what? You must be well groomed for battle. Oil up those muscles. Okay. That wasn't the best I've ever seen there. We'll just start doing the Macarena. Yeah, there's one. Oh no. We'll never hear steroid again. Calling it. Time of death is damn. The watch broke. <laughs> I can't help feeling there was more I could have done. <laughs> you are the worst fucking doctor. <laughs> Maybe actually shoot this one. Pretty good odds, I think. Well, I mean, I guess it's fucking. I guess not, right? Like, the chance to hit is probably similar. I don't know what the chance to hit with Overwatch is because they don't really tell you. Hang on, do a reload. You can't shoot now, unfortunately. But you can just take cover. Oh well, yeah, reinforcements too. Oh dear. Such a loser. <laughs> yeah. Um, Michael here. <laughs> Chance of me, um, not missing. Bonk. Oh my god, MD. It's kind of funny. This should do it. Can I get behind like better cover here? I think that might be important. Uh, not really, actually. If 
be very low here. Stand. Doesn't help. Why can you not move? Did you get- Oh, you got wounded. You got- You got very wounded. Okay, you're stuck here then. You have a good shot. We're stuck here, whatever happens. Did, did that one slip away? Oh, mother. Ow. Looks like that one teleported out away from where my Overwatch was, or... No, they different one, sorry, different one. Nice shot. Ow. Oh, you haven't- you're not- you're not stuck anymore. You're fucking stuck, but she isn't. She can live. Yes? Um, Michael here. Damn, you're so fucked. Are you in cover? I can't tell. Only available in cover spots. Are you not in one? Oh, spends all AP. At the start of the next turn, shoot a target for damage if they're still in place. Cool. Well, you're just gonna have to do that. I can, you know, get them. Whoa, but you pick a spot? I don't know, man. I suspect part of the hard mode change is that normally these enemies wouldn't have all-star rebels early in the game. See, that's good. That's a good part of the difficulty. Can I just body someone here? Not you. I would have to head you to get you. Camilla says no, they do. Oh, okay. Let us uniform they always have AKs. Okay. I do feel like you need to move. Or we're just in general fucked. All right. Make it back to here. Now you should be in cover there, right? There's a metal box there. It's really hard to tell what is good cover or not. You got like a metal box there and rocks here. Like this should be a good covered position, one would think. You would maybe think so. But whether or not it really is, that's the question. The deaf xylophone plays me, it, it fucking is. I, this might be the turn. Uh, MD, there's a guy. Oh, and I didn't get an Overwatch at all. Oh, I like that they execute. I do like that they execute. That's a good thing that they should do. I like that. Can they climb up here? No. Okay, back off. It is luckier there than here, yes? Hopefully they can't climb. What kind of gears needed? Yes, it's good that they don't just sit there. If they can climb, we're very dead. Where are they going to go next? I imagine down here. Evac, maybe. I mean, wouldn't you just restart the game at this point, this early on? Just speed run back here? I probably would. At this point. I don't know, I got a bunch of money. I could just hire more people. Hmm, you need to hide again. Where's cover? That's cover if you hide. Take me this fight. Let's move out. Oh, that one's coming around the other side. 
Ooh, that's the one to fucking kill. And I'm not gonna be able to reliably. I shall not make a noise. This will surprise them. They just got too much health, I think. They're still grazing shots. Come on, man. That's gonna be the killer of me, I think, here, is they're all fucking grazing shots. There's not really anything I can do if I can't do any damage to them, I think. So, the fog is like a DR cloud, basically. For what happened? First kind of people had real guns. I think it's more just like we did like a shitty engagement. Which we kind of knew going in, but it's alright. I guess I'm going to try to run, but I think they're just going to catch me. What kind of aliens did he from for high churn gameplay? Churn? What do you mean? Uh, are we just fucked? I feel like we're just fucked. Got bone on the way of the fog was. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah. You can only kill them with like a perfect headshot. Well, go on, do it then. Alright, you're dead. <laughs> well, you're fucked. Conflict resolved. Yeah, I think... I think that that fight did more to interest me in playing it more than the rest of the game so far, simply because there was something harder. But... I still didn't really... I don't know. It's that kind of thing where it's like, oh, okay, I see what I should have done now, rather than, oh, I see the decisions, like... The what made the firefight go wrong. Like, it's like, okay, so... Actually, I should be overwatching instead because you double your firepower output, even though for some... I didn't realize that until we got to the fight there. So I should be overwatching to the sniper rifles. And then... I just shouldn't... Fight in fog? I don't know, like, then... So with the fog, I don't know, I guess, like... It's like a six-tile thing. Your damage is halved or something. I don't know. But then, so if you're going to do this fight again, then it should have been sitting, like, way, way back of the snipers and just dealing with the grazing fire and just kiting? I don't know. I don't know, like, in, in one sense, it, the, the fact that it was, like, hard, like I lost, makes me want to play it more. But in the other sense, it doesn't because it wasn't that hard. I don't know how to explain this with my words. Like, it's not really that it felt very hard. It just felt like, oh, okay, I just should have done that thing instead of this thing. Do you get what, do you get this distinction I'm trying to make? I don't know. Like, oh, okay, my guns weren't doing damage because I'm in the fog. And I just shouldn't have been in that cover because then once the combat starts, they're going to run up and suppress me on the, the, the thing. So I should stay back and not get shot at. Hindsight knowledge solves the puzzle, right. It's not difficulty, it's punishment. Yeah, I, I don't, yeah, I don't know. It, like, it doesn't feel like the satisfying kind of way that, like, like a long war fight does, where it's like, oh, okay, you take that shot, you take this shot. I think the, the sponginess of the enemies really makes it feel shitty, because, like, at the end there, like, that should be kind of exciting. It should be like, oh, the last soldier! But it's really kind of not, because you just can't fucking kill them. And the only thing to do about it is, you know, not end up in that situation. Camel says, I don't think it was a puzzle. That was pretty obviously bad terrain. I guess. I didn't realize I'd get flanked through the jungle on the right either, which is my fault. You're in a funnel. Yeah, I guess. And that, that's true too, because I, I did just engage. I did just go, fuck it. Like... That's true too, because I didn't engage badly. I did just go fuck it. I did just go like, uh, 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 shoot someone. Which is true. 
I did just kind of get bored and just click the gun button, which I got punished for, which, you know, I guess is a good thing. I don't know, like... I don't know, like, that kind of makes me want to play it less as well, because, like, it hit that point, like I was saying, where it hits a point where it's like, eh, just do something, and then the something was very, very wrong. And it's good that you get punished for that, I guess. Like, it's good that you get punished for not paying attention to the game. I guess it's just bad that the payoff for paying attention doesn't feel as satisfying. If you know what I mean, like... I feel like the payoff there is staying back, not getting shot at, and stealth snapping a bunch of people. Like, I don't know, do I have a save? Go back. Why don't I just replay the combat? Or does this immediately put me in the fuck situation? This immediately sticks me back here, where it's kind of already too late. So what can you do differently here at this point, when Alpha's already shot? Be quiet now. Other than just, like, ditch him, is, well, I guess Overwatch was one of the lessons, is Overwatch just does way more shots. Yeah, there is an autosave for entering Sector. I could do that too. Retreat and grenade. I don't think I can throw grenades, because... Our toughness for it sucks. What's the jacket do, by the way, at full, full heal? It's still 30%. You can, the missile chance is very small. Then I should probably be nading. It does so little damage, why? Why does it do so little damage? Alright, throw that. Oh my god, the card is so much. Have you know the 100 to 0 an enemy feels bad in a game of real guns against basically muscle flak armor? God versus, I mean, sometimes games want to be something other than hide out of lost in camp corners. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I just also kind of feel like my playstyle for this game would be to just do that, though. To deal with the sponginess. Because if I can't... It's like Battletech. If you can't kill an enemy reliably in close range in a turn, then you need to be further away to give you more time to kill him, you know? I kinda wanna shoot you on the way in. Ready. Try to remain in. I'm not trying to sound like Sour Grace, by the way. Like, there's still what this game does I like, it's just I'm trying to also, like, mm, not conceptualize, verbalize the things that, like, don't feel good compared to the things that do feel good. Are you prone? Yeah, you're still prone. I watched them. I'll shoot at anyone I see. I think I, mean, bad guys, of course. I can Just shoot from up here. Guys. No, that is bad apparently. I do wonder how it calculates like the shooting. I don't think it's purely from muzzle, but it, it can't be from muzzle because you can see her gun poking out. So it's like tile based, I guess. Unless it's like getting stuck on a rock, I don't know. I think that's something else that's hard, especially because they don't let you like... Do they let you move the camera around? They, I can't tell if the game has like a 3D kind of thing going on for the shooting. But it's kind of like hard to tell like what my shot's gonna be if that makes sense. Because I, I can't find a way to like rotate my camera down more. To like see the see the view from the shooter. But apparently, like that's not a good shot. But then it is because there's no there's no there's no obscuration here. So maybe it'll work. Maybe it'll work. Camel says isn't any more HP than Noble. I wondered, yeah. I think their HP is just kind of like... Funny. Goffer says like, how can you just say one of the major factors of difficulty is off limits? What do you mean? What? The difference is probably AI aggressive is how much money you get. That's good, yeah. Then it's not about the, the difficulty then, it's just the game has interesting health pools. 
God for saying, just saying broadly, you cannot touch HP through difficulty. Well, I didn't say that. I don't know if you're talking to someone in chat. All I'm trying to say, and this is pretty common stuff, is um, it can feel bad when enemies feel too spongy. That's all. You guys talking to chat? Yeah, no, I'm just jumping into your chat conversation there. Let's go prone of you. That might help. Let's see if this... It, it's, it's unarguably a bad start to the fight, but let's see if this is like a better way to begin it. I mean, we already grenaded someone. Not a bad way to begin out. A better way to begin out. I mean, a better way to, like, handle it. I do wonder what the Overwatch chance is. Suppressoid. They're following me to suppress me. Ha! Huh? There is friendly fire. Goffer says, who cares if it's lazy or not? What matters is it effective? That's what we're saying, that it's not effective. We're saying that it's unfun to just pump the HP numbers up. Not that that's what's happening here anyway, so this is a moot discussion now, but we're just saying it's unfun. We're saying it's not effective. Yes? But that's not what's going on here, as Camilla says, that this is just the HP of the game. Target locked. Okay, it looks like you just die. Wait a minute, 65% of point blank, huh? We one of those games, huh? That's why you need to take that perk that makes your accuracy go way up at close range. Amy. Yeah. Garfer, we're just talking about a fun game, that's all you know. I don't have a good shot. No one's trying to like bludgeon devs for, for no reason. Like we're just trying to say what makes a fun game for most people. It's like a pretty known thing, I think. I don't think it needs to even be a discussion. Like, have we not had this discussion for twenty years? Many games do HP sponging and it feels bad. This is like not. Uh, this is no, no one needs to debate this. Like everyone knows this, you know. Or at least I think so. I should this is this has been now. talked to death decades ago. I think I can, you know, get him. Maybe I should just shoot you because your Overwatch is being kind of shitty. Me, um, not missing. Bump. Evildoer can stand before you. Have a good shot. Yeah, this grazing thing just fucking sucks. It says it's a mayo, it says it's a chance. If it's like a low chance, that's fine, but the UI makes it look like it's always might be part of the problem. It might just be a low chance for grazing. Oh, my sound? Whoops, sorry. My sound just got fucked. Um, let's do Ready. an overwatch. Yeah, we're still in the funnel. Can we actually get back of you two? Yeah, but then MD's stuck there. I probably should have just got back of y'all, but I didn't. Steroid suppress, he's kind of stuck there anyway. Seventy-two. I can kill your ass. It's actually better chances further away here. And how much AP is this again? Six out of eleven. So you can only shoot once anyway here. But spends all AP. No, yeah, it's only one chance anyway. So maybe just go for the kill, I guess. Nice. Of course, the battle is going good. We are true heroes that will vanquish all evil doers. Got one. I like the little phone noise when you swap. Uh, swap, swap who's being controlled. MD escape level 1. Well, I mean, didn't escape it yet. We could still die. I will wait for also, if you guys are talking about Dark Tide, I can't resist jumping into your conversation. But if you're talking about Dark Tide and how Dark Tide does up the health eventually at level 5, keep in mind also your guns get better in that game very quickly and it's scaled to that. Can you uh, level up mid-fight? That'd be funny. Ah! You actually maybe can. Untraceable. Slow enemy detection while sneaking. Crits of interrupt attacks. Oh, I might reload if I watch his last turn. Oh my god. That's lovely. Yeah, I think it's a good CSA. I think having more enemies with more armor is always better, yeah. 
Better armor, yeah. Aim. A character can aim multiple times. Gain 5% extra crit per aim. Nah. What's this? Arterial shot. No damage penalty for arms and leg shots. Okay. Good for getting through armor. Fire attack. Distracting shot. Removes overwatch and pin down. Doesn't provoke interrupt attacks. Oh, this is that thing that other person had. Right. Handy to have on at least someone in the squad, if we keep playing this. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to keep playing this, because I reloaded just to fight, win this fight. I might just restart the game, I don't know. If I do keep playing this. I might wait and see what mods come out for it, too. Uh... No dark side? Yeah, I I'm going to play some more Sigma after this, yeah. Do like an hour of it or something. That's not necessarily about recoil, that's just attack. Uh, I don't know what to go for, man. Just grab this. Yeah, I think the big thing Valkyrie 2 is just realizing that Overwatch gets you two rifle shots. I abuse that a lot here. But the grenade was a great start too, yeah. Getting flanked there, that's good. I think the AI in this fight and last fight doesn't seem bad. Like, they're pushing on flanks. They were really aggressive on chasing down the hidden sniper, which I really liked afterwards. They do execute, I like all of that. This should do it. What? Steroid, can you run now? No, out. steroid's super stuck. T steroid's super stuck, bro. Yes? Target locked. I I think it's just this graze. I think this graze has just made it feel really unfun for me because that's I'm seeing now. The, whenever I'm complaining about them being too spongy here, it's just this fucking grazing shit. I think is like the biggest problem. Ready to um do stuff. I think I can, you know, get them. Marked. Yeah, Pretty just mark them, I guess. I think. Galina here. Yeah. But you need to just get down. Okay, so you can't... Are you in cover? Maybe you just didn't have enough AP. Just get back down again. What? You can't take cover. I mean, you can't use the take cover action when you're prone. It makes me wonder if you're in cover at all when you're prone. by one damage, huh? Wait a minute, what the fuck? Wait, the shots do different damage based on how many you shoot? This does 20 shots, but each does one damage? Why? So burst fire, each of the shots does almost half the damage. Oh, I hate that. Is this grazing? Has this always been this way? Have I just not noticed? Because if that's all the time, that just smacks of like, we don't know how to fucking balance fire modes, and that's annoying. That might explain why it feels like I can't fucking <laughs> get through the health balls sometimes, even of auto fire. What the fuck? That's weird, man. Ready to shoot. I guess just go for like a single shot in the dick then. And do a huge crit off the single damage number. Alright. And then it's Kalina. Here we 
good shot. Yeah, that makes sense, Garfer. I still don't like it. Yes? Boop. Yeah, cock destroyed. For the Legion! How the fuck are you hitting me? What? If I take any more hits, oh, I mean, I thought I was. Not gonna make it. I thought I was behind a rock. Am I not behind a rock? Oh, nice cover. That was cool. That was hype. Streamer brain. That was hype. Am I not behind a fucking rock here? Yeah. What the fuck? I'm behind two. Ro oh, am I getting like keyhold? I can't tell, man. I can't tell how much of this game is, like, actually modeled or not. Did I get, like, keyhold there? Kind of seems like when you're prone, you're getting cover. Maybe? Maybe I'm not getting cover because I'm prone? Because that, that, what you'd think when you're prone here, but then, I don't fucking know, because is, is this game actually, like, simulating the 3D models? It's not super intuitive. I gotta banish you straight up because you might die. There you go. MD so maybe you'll be safer now? I have no fucking clue, honestly. I have no fucking clue what's going on. My gun is not a magic wand, you know. I can't shoot you, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to reload. Maybe it's because you were flanked and therefore exposed. What, someone else flanking? I don't know, man. I don't know. It, it matters, you know, because if it's like 3D modeling, then it says these are half cover shields, but it's actually not because the, the model itself isn't doing a very good job there, you know? This should do it. Okay, we can do pin down here. Pin down. I have the villain in my sights. The villain has helped this before me. What? Ready to, um, do stuff. Are you gonna cross to my left or my right? Can't tell. I like that the snipers have, like, I like the different Overwatch-sized cones. That's good. Good Gears Tactics moment. I do wish I could carry them. That'd be really nice. It sucks you can't carry them. That'd be pretty cool. We're gonna do it like this in case they come to the left. Or they'll probably go to the right. I'll shoot at anyone I see. I mean, bad guys, of course. Just oh, you, you'll just walk right out to me, actually, yeah. Shit. Are you to Kalina now? Maybe prone doesn't let you be in cover because now it's like he's not getting shot at, like he's in cover? I can't tell. Be weird, though, if it was true. Overwatch him! Do it again! Nice roll. Oh, almost! They seem really accurate, too, in, like, a really annoying way. Like, it's giving me that feeling of, like, oh, I'm just gonna get hit no matter what I do, so I'll just not give a fuck, you know what I mean? Um, Michael here. Ready. Like, I don't get the impression, and I've, it's funny because I've actually designed a game like this before, briefly. I spent a little bit of time trying to do fire modes like this in that Operator's game that I designed for a little bit with my friend Michael. And you run into the, the, we ran into the exact same problem, um, where because we had fire modes and we, we uh, abstract, no, we didn't abstract, we had the chance to hit for different bullets individually. Uh, it was the same problem, where you wouldn't get killed out of cover, but if people were shooting multiple bullets at you that each had individual chances to hit, you were far more likely to be hit by one of those bullets. And if you put the chance to hit for each individual bullet down too much, it feels really bad as a player, and like you have like... 10% chance to hit overall, it looks really weird, but if you leave it like that, it feels kind of bad because you're just always getting chipped, and so even if you're not dying, it just feels, you know what I mean, it feels really shitty because it's like, oh, I'm always just going to get chipped like one or two hits per turn, this kind of sucks. Um, and Shadan actually points out, yeah, Shadan points out Only War has the best full auto. I do like the way Only War abstracts uh, full auto because, yeah, they do... 
you have to hit your chance to hit or under, just like XCOM to hit. And then the full auto is based on how, how much you succeed under that number. So if you need a 55 to hit at all, uh, and you roll for three bullets of only war, it's like, okay, 55, and then if you get 45, you hit two. If you get 35%, you hit three. You know what I mean? MD present. But here, it, it, I don't know how it's actually working, but it does feel that kind of problem, is all I'm saying, of like, oh yeah, just fucking... Every, every time... Every time I get shot out, I'm gonna take a little chip, and it does feel bad. You know, get him. I like how he pulls it out one-handed. Um, yay! But also kind of not yay. <laughs> you have a good shot. Did you take your mark shot at the end of the day, Cal? Yeah, I'm not sure if you did. Might have been the thing. You, I, I think it's what you did at the flanker at the end of the day. It was hard to tell what was going on though. Um, death chance? None. How long is this gonna take, man? You just gotta start fighting, I think. Or are your APs all gone already? I think if you wanna live, you gotta fight. That's gonna take too long. And it says death chance none, so we should be good. good shot. What? What the fuck do you mean you have a good shot? What? They're shooting you there. Okay, so stand up. Maybe that's it. Target locked. There you go. You, you have to manually stand up. It's not gonna hold your hand and do that for you. Uh... Yeah, it makes more sense now why I think they're so spongy. I get it now. What? 20? That's not right. Oh no, it is because the graze is gone. So it's 20 for a single, but it's 4 by 10. So I fire 4 bullets to get the effect of 2 singles. That explains a lot why I think this game is spongier than it actually probably is in the health numbers. The guy probably only has like 60 to 70 health, but it feels like more because I've been assuming the bullet damage is the same all over, I guess. I don't know. Which means I can burst fire the torso for 75, head for 35. That doesn't quite kill you. The only way to kill here is a headshot. However, I have two shots. I have um, 10 AP. I won't be able to crouch again, but I can go pop pop. Ah, but firing higher fire modes also takes more AP. So, I have to do two torso shots or something else. No, so while I go, your damage numbers are just super low to compare to the NPCs, are they? I'm using the same gun as them here. I, I guess I burst the... I don't know, what the fuck do I actually do here? I guess I do two singles, but then I can't crouch again, so I guess I just do a burst, and then crouch. A 55... Do a 95 to the torso. Stop it, man! One of them missed. How do you get percentage values? It's a mod. That comes with the game from the start. In my sights. Yeah, but she can't fucking kill him because of the fog. God, that's fucking annoying. I would never fight in fog again if I survived this. I never would. This is so annoying, right? Ready. That's fucking annoying. Crouch again. Um, Michael here. Sorry, buddy. I can't help you because there's a little bit of fog. Pretty good odds, I think. Like, it's weird, because the game has penalties for blind firing already and accuracy, so why not just use that with the fog? That's fucking weird. Why, why, why penalize damage over accuracy? It's just so annoying. Well, I guess the only thing I can do, really, is, is pin you down. The box next to you is on fire. Oh, what the fuck? MD oh, that's prison. like a fucking generator. Oh, fuck. The it's too late. I already, I already did her action. Okay, they're gonna shoot through their teammate. That's a prone guy. Ow. 
There you Hello, go. Hello, evildoers. We are here to vanquish you. Ready to um do stuff. Death chance low. Okay, so now I got to start healing him again. I reckon. MD present. This is a bad place. I should leave. <laughs> yep. I love the warning there. I kind of can't get away because she's fucking wounded though. Rip. This is like the best I can do for you there over here. Now, even though I have nothing in med, doing this is keeping him from dying, it Michael seems. Here. Also, maybe you're getting fucked because you're prone? I can't tell. Let's see if you get hit more or less like this, I guess. Taking cover! Shoot! Drive those foreigners back where they came from! Save it. Ready. Okay, we'll do. It's nice that you can like stabilize basically, like clearly if you're banishing well, here. they can't bleed out or something. That's nice. I like that a lot. Take care, I guess. MD present. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> I just need to get my vitamins and good call on the better. thing. Oh, I suddenly did 20? 41? What the fuck? Each shot is doing like 2, but then I did 40? I need a medic. Overwatch seems busted. Like, each bullet was doing like 2 or 4. Or, according to the Graves pop up, but then suddenly I did like 40 damage. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I guess one hit the head. Yeah, maybe. Maybe one hit the head, yeah. <laughs> Six damage. I love when I get shot by 762 by 51 and I get a little ouchy six damage in my t shirt. I'm hurt. Steroid is covered in blood! Steroid is so bloody! My god, steroid! This will be fine. Steroid's back, baby. I'm like resolved. Aha! All evil has been lifted and separated. Yeah, I mean... I'm getting the hang of how you meant to play it a bit more. Which is be nowhere near the enemy, because they're good at charging with the AKs. I like how aggressive they are like that. Uh, don't fight in fog. Definitely don't do that. Um, Michael here. I should be working out. Grenades are good, and you don't really need throwing to use them. MD present. Yeah. What? What? Uh. Um, Michael here. I could start this again and have less mercs and make this work. I could just bring Kalina. And save money. That's probably enough of this game for now. I'm like... Intrigued... By some of it and want to play some more of it. I want to play a little bit of like at least an hour of a signal before we wrap up for the day. But like, um... I don't know, like it's... It's a game that's like... Or walking. There's, there's stuff here that's fun. But it's just like this time efficiency thing. It's like this value of my time thing where like... There's stuff here that's fun and I bet this game gets more and more fun the more we get into it. And it's different. That's what's really in its favor. Like I haven't played games like JA much. So I really like like the kind of simulation e aspect they kind of come up some of the design from in their abstractions. But 
Yeah, someone in chat said mid. Yeah, mid's a good way to describe it. Like, the- the mid- It's janky to the point that a lot of it feels very mid, to use a zoomer word. But the bits that feel fun are fun. Like, it feels satisfying when certain things go off and you're like, Oh, that's kind of like real life. Oh, that's kind of immersive. That, that, that's kind of fun. I think the problem is that a lot of the fun of the game so far in this tutorial section is coming from doing things that feel immersive and like exciting like that, but then the game overall is very janky and not immersive. Uh, it doesn't help with the writing, choose the scenery a ton obviously, but I'm not gonna blame the writing too much, the writing's like what it is. But I don't know, like the, the overall game with its jank very, feels very unimmersive, so it's kind of hard to get into that like really fun tactical mindset for me, you know what I mean? Because like it, it just it's it's impossible to play this game without being constantly reminded like it's a it's a like a, a very janky video game. Um, it, it's quite flawed. Right, so is this how you felt about Gears Tactics the first time you played it? No. If I remember correctly, my thing with Gears Tactics was like the mechanics I didn't really like click with the first time because I was trying to play it just like XCOM. I kind of like the mechanics here in a lot of ways. Like I, I some of them I hate. Like we're not going to talk about the grazing fog thing. Obviously, we hate that. Um. Some stuff I don't like, like the bullets magically doing less damage on different fire modes. I get it, game design abstraction. But that's what I mean, like... A lot of this game is the kind of game where you could unironically sit there and go like, Oh, you don't like this XCOM, baby? Maybe it's too realistic for you. Like, you know, you can prone. Uh, you've got to manually change your stances in and out of cover. Um, you know, you... you there, there, there's shit going on, but then at the same time, it's very, like, unimmersive and unrealistic, because, like... Yeah, it's just, like, really sluggish and janky, and... Kind of feels like a chore to play a lot of the gameplay is, I think, is the problem. Like, I would feel like I'm wading through molasses to get to the fun parts. Um... I don't think it's that bad, to be clear. Like, I think the more I played this game, I reckon, like, this is a solid six or seven already. Like, I think the more I played this game the more I'd enjoy it, uh, learn to deal with its faults, get better as a player at the game, like we did in replaying this fight for funsies. But I think the problem is like, this game is like a 6 or a 7 right now, and I have 10s I can play, that's the problem. I can play Long War, I can play Rose Sigma, I can go play Gears Tactics again. That's kind of the issue, is it's competition for my time. This game feels very aggressively like undergunned for what it's going up against. No, I wouldn't pay $45 for this. No, I didn't pay for this. They sent me a key for this. Um, uh, in the email. Uh, though they didn't do nothing else. It's not a sponsor stream or nothing. They just did that thing where they send you a key, which... You know... If you've not been a streamer, by the way, devs do that a fuckload. Um, yeah, Mechabellum even. Like, even games that aren't in this genre. Did Beagle ever try the 2012 JA games? Y you mean 90s JA games? Or you mean back in action? Pope Judas says, what's the initial impression so far? Did you, you just got here, didn't you? I just said them. <laughs> Scroll back in the timeline like five minutes. Yeah, it's like, I want to like this more. I do, and I'll probably end up playing this game more either on the stream or not, purely because of that impulse. Um, like, I, I, I think doubtless I'm going to continue to play this game, even if I just do it offline to try and... This is like that picture, you know, of the one of the guy mining to the diamonds and he's turned around already because 99% of gamers stop playing Jagged Alliance 3 before they get to the best part. Um, but that's how I feel about it right now, like... Yeah, why not says Gears innovated in fluid ways. This seems to like a lot of informational QAL stuff that makes come out flow. It's basically just tapping through soldiers to check your chances of the next comp. Now, I will say this. They, tr they have tried really hard at this game. Do not diss this game on effort, or enthusiasm, or passion. You can tell they were passionate about this game. It's a lovely made game. I don't think I would throw this game in the trash at all. Um, it's, it, like I said, it's just janky. It's just janky. Like, there's really good bones here. Uh, I, the mechanics are cool and interesting. There's exciting moments in these firefights. But... There's not so exciting moments, and it does kind of feel like... I, you, you hit the nail on the head, White Helm. It's like... It's very fluid in Gears Tactics, whereas this feels the opposite. This feels, like, very sticky. Uh, it's it's as clear as mud to play, I think. And I'm not just talking about, like, the UI. Like, I think the UI actually does pretty good in a lot of cases. They've thought about the UI in a lot of cases. Some cases they haven't. Um, I would probably also bear in mind I'd probably be saying a lot less about that if it wasn't for that mod. Keep in mind we're playing with a day one mod from the devs. 
to show hit chances. Um, I think I would have... If this game didn't have hit chances, I probably would have given up on it like three hours ago. Uh, just to be clear on that as well, I wouldn't. I don't think I'd be enjoying the chaos of a real firefight um, if you couldn't see the fucking hit chances in this. Um, but yeah, I, I think the balance could use a bit of work from the start. And I'm not even saying this, and people always get this twisted. Whenever I say the word balance, people sometimes think, oh, it's too hard, or it's too easy. No, I'm not even saying that. The balance just doesn't feel fun right now in a lot of ways. It feels like the most satisfying thing is when you are in a luxurious enough position to throw out, sna um, throw out shots on headshots and get one taps um, and not get punished too hard if you miss. Um, the, the sponginess feels really bad. I've been through this with Phantom Doctrine as well. I've been through this with other turn-based tactics games. I think it feels really bad in a game like this where you're taking a lot of XCOM's bones, but you get rid of a lot of things that make XCOM fun. One of the things that makes XCOM fun is random damage. And you could argue, oh, it's like that with the fire modes. It's not. Um, it's a problem, right? Like, it. <sighs> you, when you compare the two situations side by side, uh, let's say this is XCOM. I have a sniper here who does four to seven damage, and the thin man has seven health. And the only way I can stop myself from getting flank is Overwatch. That's exciting. When I do that Overwatch, it's exciting. It's like, oh yeah, we could make that. Now, functionally, you might only have a 33% chance to actually roll enough damage to kill on an Overwatch. And most of the time, you'll miss or the enemy will live with one HP and still flank you. It doesn't matter. Mindset-wise, and potential opportunity cost and gambling, gambling brain-wise, that's way more fun. XCOM is great about that. This game it's a lot more boring and frustrating, because in this game it's just like, you can never do more damage. In this game it's like, okay, you're gonna do 20 damage or not. And Magenta says you, says you seem to be doing some pretty random damage here, I'm pretty sure that's because of um, each bullet can hit or miss on its own. That's the thing. That's how we're seeing different levels of damage, I think. I might be wrong, maybe they just don't show you on the UI, which would be fucking weird that there is a damage uh, variability. But uh, that does suck. It does suck to not have that because, again, I don't even need to... As soon as it started happening in this game, I recognized it because other tactics games do this. I immediately recognized the feeling here where it's like, Oh, okay, I just can't kill that person. Okay, you know what? Fuck me, I guess, right? Um, and it's fine to have enemies that you can't just one-shot. But I think especially starting off, um, the enemies here feel really spongy. And the, the lack of random damage doesn't help that because it's just like, Okay, I can never kill that person. Uh, you know, fuck me. Um, yeah, it, like, it, that like, doesn't feel as good. I think the locational damage shooting and the right click to aim, it's not bad. It doesn't feel great though, so far. Uh, I mean, I am using very shitty early guns, so I don't want to do like a whole spiel here because let's remember I'm like bare, not even a percent of point into this game, no doubt. Uh, but yeah, you know, just it wasn't the most fun it could be. Uh, and when I say I'm in intrigued by the game's mechanics, um, I want to separate, I'm not intrigued by the game's balance so far, but the mechanics at play, I do like. Like, I like... I like the bones of the mechanics, and if the numbers were all made to be different, I could see myself enjoying it a lot more. Do you know what I mean? Hydraulic says they don't look like they're wearing enough armor to be taking as many shots. Yeah, I mean, it's a difference in, like, you play XCOM, and you get to the second month, or the third month, and you're fighting, like, Thin Men and Floaters and Mutons, or even Drones in Long War in month one, and those reliably take multiple shots to kill, and you're like, yeah, that, 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 that's right. But then there's a lot of enemies all throughout XCOM that you can one-shot, you know, whether you roll high on damage or just reliably, you just can. Um, and that feels really good. I think it feels really bad when almost none of the enemies in your game feel like they can be one-shot. I know whenever I saw an enemy that I could one-shot here, I got excited. I was like, oh my god, but they were very rare. I was like, oh my god, I can just fucking one-shot them in the chest. Amazing. Um, and I think the lack of crits, too. I think that's the other really big thing that XCOM does well, is the way they do crits, which a lot of other games have aped at this point. Um, what, what, I don't know what this game is doing for crits. It's like, do I have a base crit chance? I don't think... Has it been showing it on the shot percentage? Maybe. Um... But I think that helps, too. Like, having random damage helps, and also having flanking... Uh, and crits. I'm, I think this game has that too, but like, I feel like I've never critted. Like, I feel like I've crit once or twice. Scarfer says it's been showing up, it's been like 1%. Yeah, that feels about right. That feels bad. I think that's another amazing thing that XCOM does really well, and it's why XCOM feels like a fire and movement kind of game once you get Long War and it fixes the Alpha Strike potential of just killing everything before it gets a chance to fight you. It's because 
enemies are quite tough to kill cover to cover. In Long War, imagine you're fighting cover to cover. You're not just going to one-shot your enemy most of the time. Even sectoids will probably live. You know, you've got cover DR. Um, and you haven't got a high crit chance when you're going cover to cover. But then you flank... And you get really good crit chances, or the enemy is exposed and you get really good crit chances. I haven't been feeling that here. Um, I could be wrong, I may just not understand the mechanics yet. But it feels like an enemy in the open, you don't have like any chance to like, quote marks, crit them for more damage, you know what I mean? Um, and it gets into this situation where, you know, the AI will do what is smart, which is they'll just bum rush you. But it almost kind of works better than it should for them, because you can't really punish them for just leaving cover and rushing at you. It's like, well why doesn't real world combat work like this, you know what I mean? Like, the enemy just kind of rushes at you, and yeah, it's aggressive, but also it works because you can't really punish them that hard with, like, extra damage or being exposed for critting them as hard, I guess. Especially also when you're not getting more accuracy at closer range here, but it works both ways, uh, as it did on their flanking. But you know what I mean? Like, I, I think that's the big thing about XCOM is that XCOM also has the big crit damage that you can get from flanking or just randomly, and that also helps you chew through those big enemies. And that's why XCOM can have incredibly, like, tanky units in Long War, but it doesn't feel like as much of a chore to fight because you have options. You have tactical decisions you can make to get around that chunky HP. And I feel like here, the only choice I've had so far is just shoot them in the head. And then if that doesn't work because they've got a helmet, shoot them in the dick. And it's just kind of like if you were playing XCOM and the only way to get more damage was just use Deadeye all the time. You know, just trade aim. Uh, XCOM 2 Deadeye, just trade aim for more damage. And it's just not really that interesting so far. Um, and that, that's what I mean, like, like, the first time we did this fight, like, I did it terribly and I lost, I'm like, oh, interesting, like, that part of me wants to go, like, now let's fight the battle again, and then I did, and then you do the new moves, because you learned, okay, Overwatch is a bit busted, because of the multiple shots, okay, use the grenade, da da, and then you do that, and it's like, alright, and then my interest in playing the game falls down again, because it's like, alright, now I'll do that for my following fights, I don't know, like, it's just different, because we're spoiled. We're spoiled by XCOM, we're spoiled by Long War, we're spoiled by these games where the difficulty isn't about figure out how to do one thing once and then do that forever, or one meta. It's more like, okay, like, have these interesting cover-to-cover -cover fights where you try to suppress and flank, and, uh, you know, use that to get big damage crits and stuff. So I don't know, that's, that's kind of like my thoughts for now. I don't think any more thoughts from me are any more useful. Uh, the ones I've given already probably aren't even that useful because I've played such a small sliver of this game. Please take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. I would and probably will play more of this game just to see how it goes. And I could really see, like, this game being this insanely good game if the modders love it and there's, like, some good design amongst the modding community in, like, a year or two from now. Like, this could definitely come back around like a Dark Horse game and be like, oh my god, this is suddenly, like, this incredible tactics experience. Uh, like, holy shit, because it's been through, like, this rigorous, like, total conversion, balancing, you know, art. Basically, uh, you, what I'm basically saying is, if a whole bunch of users finish this game for the devs, it could go from, like, a 6 or a 7 to, like, a 10, or a 9 or a 10, you know what I mean? But that's not the game here. That's not the game that the devs have presented. Um, I do think, I'm not saying it's terrible, I do think it could get better. I'm going around in circles now. Uh, but, you know, it, 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 it does feel a bit janky in mid at the moment, compared to what else we could play. But I will play more of it. I will definitely be watching the workshop, and I will play more of it. I don't know if it'll be on stream or not. Cheaty save, because technically we lost this campaign. Well, we didn't lose it, but... But, uh, yeah. It, it definitely feels like the kind of game where to get good at it, to get gooder at it, I already feel like you just end up doing, like, really exploitative strategies. I don't know. But again, I'm just talking at my ass. You know, maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe this game pops the fuck off after you get off Tutorial Island, and everything just kind of clicks together, and maybe it's game of the year and I'm, I'm the guy going back from the diamond mines because I gave up on, on mining. Uh, Pope says, what was that other Jagged Alliance game that Beegs played, the one where Beegs can waste a turn for an empty gun? End State, and I actually really like that. I actually really like that game. More than this. That game's very indie though and doesn't have like, I, I like the XCOM 2 style thing they do here. Um, doesn't really have the, the devs or the budget to do as much content as this game has. And to be clear too, because I spend more time talking about, you know, criticisms than positives, love what kind of seems to be going on the strategy layer in general with this game. Very cool. I should just play bad to bad. Um, yeah, Endstate, got another, um, 
Got another uh, thingy recently. Got another update recently. Did they ever fix the aiming? Where is end state? I should install that again. They got an update recently. June update. Where they've got a region alarm level, enemy reinforcements, rocket launcher, infiltration mission. Player characters can leave missions by going to edges of the map. Shop for trading items. Enemy corpses are lootable. But I don't know if they fixed their ability to do the Jagged Alliance aiming yet in end state. I kind of almost want to look at it just to see. They really should fix that if they haven't done that yet. The game's progressing very slowly. But if you haven't seen it, um, we did a stream of this game um, here. End state. This is a pretty cool game. Um, man, is it that pretty when I played it? Or is that a done-up screenshot? I guess it is. Um, we played this like last year. Uh, it's very, like, slow development indie. Um, but it's pretty cool, and I kind of like what it's doing. See, see, with this game, there was obvious problems, like how you the, the aiming, Jagged Alliance style aiming was bugged. But apart from that, like, this game didn't have the problem I was saying of JA, where, what we just played, where it felt, like, weirdly janky and unimmersive. Like, it, it's janky, but in, like, that armor kind of way where I can deal with it. And this game did a really good job of the HP thing, where there were enemies that were super tanky to you based on weapon, because they had heavy body armor. And you would then go for headshots to try around and get around the armor. Um, but normally you'd go for center mass. And like, it was very Jagged Alliance inspired in that way, um, the locational system. They're trying to do the same aiming system that just wasn't working yet. Um, and, but, but, if, but if you had a weapon that could penetrate the armor, uh, it wasn't a problem. And you could very much just like Tarkov, just like blow the armor off uh, pretty quickly as well. I really liked this game, um, and I guess, you know, that, that's the problem, is I, I, this game doesn't have a lot of content, but I liked this game more than JA3 overall, and I think that's a problem as well, is it's just kind of like, it's not just about, you know, especially when you're double A and you do have a team, it's not just about, you know, your content or your budget, uh, but definitely how you use it, um, you know, I think the game, I think JA3 could even take some lessons from End State, which is, you know, End State's pretty fucking whip, like, <laughs> uh, yeah. I know, I, I, I get that feeling, because End State is like janky, like, okay, it's an indie dev game, it's like armor, it's kind of janky, but whatever, I don't really care, I can see beyond it. Whereas JA3 is janky in that way of, like, Wasteland 3, where it's like, oh god, like, this is the game you wanted to make, isn't it? Like, this is, this is kind of like what you were going for. Uh, like, oh god, why did you do this? Um, I'm sure if those of you who are here for Wasteland 3, you'll know I fucking hated that game mechanically, I was, I was super optimistic. Village Idiot says, any other tactics games you recommend? Uh, absolutely, um, Rose Sigma, which I have promised chat one mission of, but I kind of want to load up End State real quick now and just see if they fix the aiming thing. Because if they did, um, it would be a great comparison to JA3. Because End State about the aiming, like, the guns are weirdly short range is its problem. Um, like, nothing can shoot further than it needs to, but, uh, beyond that, it's pretty fucking cool. I want to say, too, I want to be clear again, like, there is a lot in JA3 I really did like, like, mechanically. Um, interesting mechanics that I, I thought were cool. Some of those perks look really interesting, too. I'm definitely going to play more JA3, I just don't know if it'll be on stream. Or if it'll be offline, and I'm just kind of like, you know, just waiting and seeing until it gets a good enough mods, and then I go like, oh, now I'm going to stream this again. Let me just look at this game real quick, okay? Where Sigma fans dying. Where Sigma fans getting so fucked. You guys get all the weekends. Oh, it's got a new uh, splash screen. V-Sync off. Always V-Sync off. Yeah, I'm going to give you the orcs. I just want to just let daddy do a quick little test of this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Immediate L though, no women. J3 does at least have women. Uh, what do you want here? Just pick like the guys at the highest cost. Because they probably have the best stats, I think. Like Kennedy here. Boom. I get to just pick three, I think. I wonder if they made it so you can hire people mid-mission already. Bar with the umpy. And the vest. Wait. Did I click continue already or something? Or do I only get two now? 
Oh, I think I fucked up. It's okay, I can hire more. I can hire more. I click continue, but I can hire more. Uh, maybe get a hunting rifle person as well? Or a shotgun person, which one? Depends if the aiming's been fixed, doesn't it? Let's be fun, let's get a shotgun person. You get $500, that's nice, you can like make money now. Get Ding Chavez, yeah. Does this game just not have uh, music by the way? I can't remember. I gotta put my own on, hang on. What is this? Holy shit, there's like a fucking heat map. My goodness. It's kind of cool. This isn't J3. Yeah, I just palette cleansing for a second of a game that's like kind of similar to what J3 was doing. The camera movement is really slow. Can't fix that. Just gotta do this around. How does this game work again? Is it 2 AP? Or is it... Mm, no, it's an AP system, just like JA. How was JA3? It's a bit... You just missed my wrap-up on it. It's a bit jank. And not in a good way. Is it zero? Oh yeah, I turned off the music because it was repetitive. Now I remember. Yeah, catch the VOD SWF. Um, it's got promise. The TLDR, I don't want to go over it again and again, but it's got good bones, but... The dev provided experience is a bit lacking. This game does have like actual 3D modeling, I think, for what's going on with the shooting. What's the mod tools look like? Yeah, hopefully good. Hey, I'll never say no to more modders trying to make games better. Yeah, you can aim for the dick, as Lloyd is telling you, yeah. Huh? Huh? Oh, I just alerted someone. Interesting. That's the stance bar, right? Yeah. I just want to shoot someone, man. Oh, they like got alerted, but they're like kind of not still. Oh shit, bitch. Holy fuck. Oh shit, fard. Fug. Hide. Bring the shotgun over here, though. That's what we want, just not this turn. This game is facing. Oh shit, they're gonna walk around the corner. Oh, I can't resist fucking shooting that motherfucker though. Can you aim yet? Oh, you can? You can, yes, it is making aim go up. So they did get that in, that's good. It's, maybe it's not necessary. I'm interested to see how this works. Because the shots are already so good, I guess it's not necessary here. What have you got? You've got a... You've got body armor on the chest. I need to go for head here, I think. God, they still got their fucked up, like, sideways mole ninja shot. <laughs> they still have that insane fucking animation. Alright, go prone. Which might still be free by the look of it, too. And then just do opportunity fire down here. It's skill. Yeah, it's peak mole ninja shit, man. But I love it. It's, it's fucking something. I don't know if it's skill, but it's something. Alright, come to here. Enter. I think the shotgun's gonna be a bit pressed to have a good... Whoa! Shot there. Oh, I love the speed thing this game does too. It's shotgun v shotgun, so it's kind of okay. They've still got these like janky bugs there, like where their stances are all fucked up. But I, I forgot some of the shit I love about this game. Like, oh, that's pretty nice, yeah. 
Like how it has like the, the speed off, like the quick draw McGraw contest. I like that a lot. Oh, he's gonna go for the head. Ah, got some of the pellets. Uh, you're fucking in the way. I gotta move over to like... Get out of here. Yeah, come over here. This is probably all my TUs, right? You can shoot the dick in this game too, folks. Don't worry. Uh, if I go for the chest, I'm not gonna do enough damage, I think. Because this, this gun does... It does 30 per shot. Depends on how much health you have left. Hmm. Fuck. Maybe go for arms, go for leg meta. There you go, kneecap him. See, I'm not trying to be shady, but this is instantly so much more fun to me. Maybe I'm just different, maybe it's just my taste. This is instantly so much fucking cooler to me. Than J3's combat. I forgot how much I actually like this game. It's like really indie, but I really like this game. That's also last known position, I think. It reminds you where your last known position was. God, I really forgot how good this game is at a lot of things. Like, it has some really impressive mechanics. There you are. Hello, motherfucker. Okay, so you're like doing your little overwatch around the cover. 19%. Yeah, that's way better. See, the, you couldn't use this aiming feature before, and it made, like, the rifles especially just be, like, really, really fucking shitty at range, which was a bit, bit stupid. Can't really hit him in the head there. They must be overwatching me, right? But I can't see the overwatch angle. Here, um, break the barricade, yeah. I think that's not going to work, because this game actually has 3D modeling. I think my stance is wrong there. Oh! oh bit of a trade-off, but you fired into the engine block, I think. And I can't get you to stand here. Oh, you're crashed behind that box. That's the problem. Okay. So we want to, like, push up and flank you. Maybe just, like, breach the house. You pick which arm, cool. Yeah. And it matters because it depends which arm is exposed, right? And what I want to do... I can't get to here and shoot, unfortunately. I wanted to get there and keep overwatching. I guess I'll just keep overwatching from here. I can't remember if it has, like, proper 3D modeling, because you should not be able to shoot over that if it did. I think it did. I think my shots are going straight into the wheel well. I mean, the engine, I mean. No, no, they're going through. So either they're penetrating or the game is fake. <laughs> Benny says, I, th that's cool. I remember this game from last year, but I don't remember it being good TBH. It, yeah, I mean, I knew I liked it, but I don't remember liking it this much. It's very fresh. It's very tactical. Go to this window, I reckon. They're about to come through. Anybody in here? No, we're good. It's very janky, though. Like, it's got, like, a lot of bugs and shit. But I really like it. It's like Tarkov Tactics more than it is JA, and I really like that. What was the tactics game from last year where your troops are anthropomorphic animals? Huh? I feel like I'd remember that. Hello. That cost a bit of TU, actually. Mutant Year Zero. Oh, buddy, that wasn't from last year. That was from like five years ago. Buddy, that was a bit longer. What's the chat? What is the numbers on when that fucking was? That was a long time ago. 
No, because it was last year. Oh, sorry, my bad. Yeah, you're right. It was totally last year. Beagle, you're losing it. Wake up. I'm sorry. I'm losing it. Sorry, everyone. Oh, what? Oh, enemy reinforcements in four turns. That's the new thing they just added in this update, yeah? Yeah. Okay, I can't shoot. Can I switch guns? I don't have two guns on you. Okay, I guess just run to here. <laughs> I think their Overwatch is still really exploitable by the look of it, but we see where they are now. This game needs more love, man. It needs more development. Okay, let's run you uh, over to here. This game needs more. Shotgun opportunity. Oh! I love the speed off. I love that shit. I'd love to play a full campaign of this if it was not just this part right now. If I get a shot from here, you should, but you don't. No, you do. You totally do. Now let's go for the chest. Work through the armor. I had a really good shot here. Go here and just step back in the cover afterwards. Got a really nice shot. How many TUs you need to step back here? One, two, probably do one aim. You have to reset it every time I see. Back in a cover. That is not good enough. Apparently you can shoot from here. But what if you come from behind me? You probably won't do that. Don't do it! Oh, they didn't do it. Thank God. Hey, what's going on over here? <laughs> <laughs> Just have a shoot off! Just have a shoot off! Who's faster? <gasps> Me, barely, but other problem. <coughs> other problem is. That's not enough to finish you, fuck. Oh shit, hide, holy fuck, hide. I love the speed mechanic they have for this game. I just can't say enough good things about it. I think it's such a cool, exciting mechanic for how they do this shit, you know? I think that's rad. That's so exciting and cool. What you gonna do, baby? Get him. Oh! That shotgun sucks. The shotgun needs love. Wow. Reinforcements in one turn. Oh fuck, do we just have to leave? Are we not meant to be here anymore? Shit. How oh dare! I didn't even get the loot. Fuck. If you're willing to die more dramatically, I like their little ragdolls. I don't mind them. Oh god. Oh shit! Not there! Please, no! Hello! <laughs> it's just a little guy of a. He's just a little guy of a, like a little pistol. It's fine. Yeah, just peek at the right fucking side, bitch. It's your armor. Why can't I kill you in the chest? Is it gonna hit the cover? It must be, yeah. It must be telling me you can only hit that arm, really. I can get 50 in the head. Ah! Hurry up, Kennedy. Help me. Look 
Look how he's got a Beretta. He's eco, he's by rounding. Yeah, fuck you, buddy. No targets in sight. I think fucking not, bitch. Hey! There you go. This is janky like that. You gotta like get the model in the right place, but you can like fiddle around of it usually. Hello? Oh god, that's satisfying. It says local man killing people. Is that it? That's all of it. So I guess you just gotta like get in and get out now. I don't think I can loot you though, which life first aid to you? Yeah, I want to loot these corpses, man. I want to I want to get my gear going. That's different though if it's not just uh deathmatch now. If you actually want to like leave, that's interesting. It's very Tarkov now. Yeah, I definitely can't loot you on the ground down there. I can loot the enemy. It's weird that you can't loot your friends. Holy shit, you had fucking... Why weren't you wearing it, bitch? Or maybe you were. That motherfucking heavy vest, god damn. That's what we're talking about. From like you're in a bush, bro, yeah, basically. Uh, next turn. It's in here, bro. A rifle and a frag grenade. Cool. Do I have to put this in something to use it? I can't remember. I don't think so. Alright, just hang on to it for now. Go search this locker too. Uh, if they keep coming from the same direction, you should just overwatch that corridor here. Also, how do I change? Can I change fire modes yet in this game? I can't remember. Is that allowed? No. No, not yet. This game needs your help. If you give us your bank account details, you could change fire modes. Battle rifle. Nice. I can't fit that light vest though, shit. Oh, damn, I need that shit because I haven't even got a vest on. I'm just wearing a fucking shirt. This is damage 50. Goodness me. Oh, the AK is damage 40. It's not bad. It ain't bad. This has much longer range, which is good for snipies too. How do I dump this? Dump it. Trish. Please, I want to pick up that vest. Please let me pick up that vest. Bitch! Bitch, bitch, fuck! Ah! I'm begging you, let me, let me make room! It is, ain't, that dog ain't going hunt. Have you got room? Yes. You've got a vest too, you can come get it for me. Keep looting bitches so we can get out of here. They're gonna keep going in the same direction. No, they're not. They're on the map now, but we don't know where. Oh, we can leave through here too, that's nice. Jump off the other side of the map there. Okay, so give me some corpses to loot. Maybe you can't loot them all. No, you can loot this one. What do you got? AKM. Well, I don't know why I'm looting of you because you can't fucking loot anything more, you idiot. You chump. All right, let's just leave. You, you come over and, uh, uh, come over and grab the vest, actually. OK, 
Can you search for something in the cabinet? I don't think so. Grab the vest. Okay, let's go. Oop. Wait. Does that just do everyone forever? No. Good. So you can totally, like, ditch your friend and extract early. I like that. Always good. Plays the fucking Among Us horn so loud, too. And... out. Your squad has left the mission. Did we win? I think we won. I didn't even remember what the objective was, but I... Nope! We weren't meant to leave. It's fine. Oh, game over! Get fucked, bitch! <laughs> anyway, that's end state. I just wanted to see if they'd fix the aiming, and they have. I'm probably gonna play more of this game, too. Uh, offline. Uh, this game is super, super early access if you were just watching this for 20 minutes. Um, that's really the only problem with this game, is there. it's super early. There's not enough of it. But I really like the mechanics in this game. Um, it's super fresh and fun. It does the same kind of thing JA does, except better and fluid, and I like it for that. Um, it feels good. It feels really good. The balance feels better, in general. Um, I really like this. I really like this game. I just wish it had more than like two people working on it and I wish they had more time to work on it because it's it doesn't really get any development. I wish it got more because I would love to play like this game as a full thing. Um, it'd be great. Anyway, uh, that's that. I did promise you at least one mission. Go on, at least one mission, Beagle. Go on. At least one more Sigma. The fuck is this shit? What is this shit? What? What the fuck is installing the Bing search bar on my computer? This was just here when I quit end state. What the fuck? I see Microsoft Edge there. Edge, is this your fault? What, do you, what even is this? Some kind of like browser on the desktop? I didn't open this. What the fuck is this? Did JA3 install this? Did end state install this? What the fuck is going on? Microsoft Edge. No one asked Microsoft Edge to be on. It seems to be Edge's fault. Yeah, Edge is gone now. What the fuck, Microsoft Edge? Stay dead like you deserve to be. Fucking hell. Alright. UFO defense. I gotta play bad to bad, man. I gotta play that furry mobile game. I should get